Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today. I've got a Creative Memories haul and I'm super excited to share with y'all. But um, I've been um, oh, kind of having a bit of a bumpy day and it just dawned on me. I'm a vegetarian for any of you that don't know it and I do not eat um, like I don't eat meat. Um, I occasionally will eat cheese and I occasionally will eat eggs. Um, my husband has asked me to look at fish because the doctor that we are um, subscribing to his type of diet um, does eat fish on the weekends. And so I thought, okay, I'll try it because we're going to go down south where I grew up and I loved shrimp fresh off the boat. And so there's one restaurant that has this one shrimp salad that I absolutely, if I say I miss anything, that's what I miss. And so I said I would give it a try, which means I'll probably take a bite or two and then see if I like it, and then I'll try it. And my GI tract just doesn't really do well with me. It really doesn't. It's a really difficult thing. But anyway, so many of you know I've shared before, I love these Marcona almonds with rosemary. I get them at Trader Joe's. They're fairly inexpensive in light of what they have to do for these almonds. It's really amazing that the price they sell them. But anyways, I love these, and I realized... I'm pooped because I haven't had any stinking. It's it's 3.15, and I haven't had any hardly any protein today. And I just ate lunch like an hour ago, but it was all vegetables with a little tiny, like not even a tablespoon of cheese on it. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of ourselves. And I'm saying that to me, guys. <laughs> so... It's time to eat a Marcona almond. I wish you were here with me. I would let you try these. I would love for you to try these. But, um, mm, that are, you literally get like little bits of rosemary, sea salt. I need sea salt. It's sunflower oil, sea salt, and dried rosemary. These are so stinking good. So, one serving is a fourth cup, six grams of protein. How good is that? Now, you're looking at the fat, but we have lived such a fat-free life for so long. Our brains need fat. It needs good fat. The best fats, the healthy fats that are good for our heart, those are if we don't go crazy. Another thing is um, avocado. Avocados are fantastic. And one of the one nuts that we know that are good, that is really good for our brain, when you take it out of the shell, it looks like a brain. The walnut. So if you want to be smart, eat your walnuts. I mean, don't go crazy. Just eat a few. Eat a small serving. But these are the gifts that God's given us. Pretty basic. And they have another version of these Marconas at Trader Joe's that are just um, sea salt. They're not oily at all. They're very dried. Um, I like them except for they're really too salty. So sometimes I like mix them between the two because I really like the rosemary flavor, but I don't always like all this. Sometimes it feels like it's more oil than not, but this one isn't that bad. I really love these. These are such a treat. Um, I, I just, I'm such a goof about this. So I keep them in here. I keep them on my chair. I have them in my kitchen. I keep them in my purse if my purse is big enough. So I definitely I already have some packed for trips that we'll be taking. Um, it's a staple. I know. I know, but these are really yummy. So I just want to share that because if you're watching my videos, you're probably going, what is wrong with her? She can't remember what a sand dollar is. Well, yeah, you know. So anyways, sometimes your words escape you. <laughs> so let's get on with the haul. Okay. Ooh, I love this. I think this is an item that's getting ready to go out. This is the Gather Together sticker kit. Um... I love stickers. They make scrapbooking quick and easy. Um, I love gorgeous paper, and I love die cuts. So, there you go. Um, oh, I love that so fun pick me. <laughs> it's so cute, like a pumpkin. You're picking your pumpkin. The pumpkin patch. Give thanks, gather blessings. Yet, oh, get cozy together. Oh, so lovely. Sweater weather is better weather. Even the leaves fall for you. Oh, that is so stinking cute. Um, you can never have too much happy. Fall in, love, blissful, nature's palette, too stinky cute. I love spring. I love spring. I love summer. Fall, the colors of fall, 
so float my boat. I mean, spring does too. I'm not going to lie. Love all the color. There's something about fall. We used to always go to New England in the fall, and I loved seeing the fall foliage. And this year, it looks like we're going to try to do another trip up there. So, um, just super excited. Love, love, love. So, I'm going to have some pictures for those stickers. So, I went ahead, and since they're, it's getting ready to be out of stock, um, they're not going to remake anymore. They're ending this particular set. I wanted to make sure I got some of these to put up for this fall. And I love the vines, and I love these little, what's that, filigree of some sort. Beautiful life. Thankful for this beautiful life. And it just repeats. And that is charming as well. You know, Creative Memories does such a great job on these things. I, I just can't say it enough. Um, you know, you it's, it's a quality that you get, you know. So, um, I'm also going to share something with you at the end of this that's super fun. So, I'm loading that in what I'm going to share with you. So, I also have some of the stencil type um, where you can cut things out. And so, I wanted some extra clips just in case. And so, yeah. And by the way, all of this order, if I remember right, it was free. Um, when you re, as an advisor, you re-up once a year. When you re-up, you get, um, you pay your annual fee and then you get a $25, uh, like gift card to spend at Creative Memories. So that's what I did. So here's the other part of that gathered together and let's open it up and take a peek. Um, it's such a good deal. I mean, it is quality, no doubt. I already get a discount as an advisor, but then to get $25 for free, oh, that box was, it was done. It was so easy to put together. So, anyways, just saying, if you're ever interested in Creative Memories, feel free to reach out to me, josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. I don't really sell it. I did years ago. Um, I just do it for my personal use and family and friends. But um, if you want to sign up and get discounts, let me know. All right, so gorgeous. That just looks like fall, doesn't it? Ooh, autumn. Let me move that out of the way. So autumn. Ooh, I love that. Mmm, pretty spending time with you. I am not a real orangey yellow kind of girl. I'm a kid that grew up in the 70s, 60s and 70s. So that kind of burnt orange was everywhere, even on our carpet. And so, um, but when I tie this into fall foliage, I'm totally there. Spending time with you. Pumpkin everything. Cuddle weather. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like the ticket edge. Um, just fall. It says so blessed there. It's hard to see, but it's there. That's pretty too. I love that. I used to do um, where you put the paper down over the leaves and you'd color on top with my students and my children. That's what that reminds me of. Goodbye summer. Oh, and then we'd cut them out. So, and that says nuts about you. That's so cute. See, some of these you can make cards for people. This moment, you could also make, if you pick these up, you could also make like a small, um, you know, like a dollar where you, you drop them in the little uh, albums and you want to make one for your postman or, you know, whatever. You just order one of these kits, fill it up, put a picture, like take a picture of the person you're going to give it to, be, put it on the front page, say, I so appreciate you, and I hope you enjoy this. And then fill, you know, give it to them and say, you can put the rest of your pictures in it for your family. So you can carry it in your mail pouch or in your purse or in your briefcase, whoever you're giving it to. I love that. That's so pretty. Kind of, it's monochromatic, but there's two colors there. <laughs> There's the other part of that. I love that. Some dotted Swiss. Oh, I love that. I am so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. That looks like October. Oh, look at the leaves. Love it. And the umbrella. And that's really pretty. Kind of like a wreath. And oh, so this could be a banner on top. It could be a banner down low for a picture. And that's that part. So, let's see here. Same thing, butter, banner on top, or on bottom, banner on top, and, ooh, I love that. That's really striking. I like that. Okay, so you can journal, put a picture. There's more color. Ooh, I like that they're putting uh, kind of a lavender in the mix. That's pretty. Mm. Lavender's a funny color that you can add in with other colors, and it looks so good. That's pretty. Hello. And there's always something to be thankful for. And this might be where you have everybody take a little tag at, at Thanksgiving and fill one out and say what they're most thankful for. And you put them either, if they don't want them, you put them in yours or you in your 
journal or you um, just put your own there. How exciting would that be to look back 10 years from now? And what's really neat is when your children look back at that. They'll say, oh, I didn't know, you know, Grandma thought like that. You know, or I didn't know Aunt so-and-so thought like that. Oh, that's so neat. I'm so thankful for, you know, how sweet and kind and helpful, you know, little Bobby is. You know, that kind of a thing. You never know. Home sweet home. Oh, there you go. Love that one. I like the other one better. It's brighter, but that is really pretty as well. That one says Season of Change. Ooh. Oh, the mason jar flowers. And this says, hold on, it's very faint. Let me see. It says, oh, it says Fall Love right there on the little tag. And then you can journal. You can even put in a little little small, like, Instax printout or, you know, one of those quick pocket uh, printers and have, if the picture's turned that way, you could put it there or a piece of memorabilia and then journal about it. How much fun is that? So cozy. I love that. Ooh, I love the frame of those beautiful leaves. That is so pretty. Oh, live every day like it's a Saturday. That's the day we go to church. So, amen. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love the pumpkin. That's so cute for a journaling spot. Oh, full of beauty. Mmm. Grateful for this and happy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, super good. I'm going to keep filling my little thing here and I will show you at the end. So, here is another set of stickers. I'm pretty sure these are going out as well. But, so these are cute. The colors are very different. I like the colors of the other one, I will admit. But these will be fun too. These will be great to offset that. So, in search of the perfect pumpkin patch. Autumn, awesome autumn. And there's kind of a baby's, um, like a safety pin. And I thought about that because we have a baby, grand baby coming in November this year. So, I thought that would be really pretty. Cutest pumpkin in the patch. Hello, Autumn. Autumn days are here again. Lots of good little word, Fetty. Falling for you. Changing colors. Harvest. Crisp air. Hay bales. Apple cider. Acorns. Gourds. Um, candy corn. Homemade pie. Um, bonfire. Scarecrow. Hayride. Fun. Leaves. Pumpkin pie. Rake. And Autumn. How much fun. Those are so cute. And they're kind of a, they are a cardstocky sticker. They have a very nice, nice finish on them, and they're not overly thick, so it won't eat up a lot of space in your um, in your scrapbook or your card that you're making or your journal. So cozy autumn, celebrating fall, fall, um, and then you have a space so you can put the year. Harvest memories would be great, you know, like divider at the top of a page. All that's fall. Lots of leaves. Rake, pile, and jump. <laughs> Everyone must take time to sit and watch the leaves turn. Funnily enough, when um, I met my husband, I grew up in South Texas, and we didn't really have leaves. We had, like, mesquite tree leaves or palm leaves. And um, I remember going to visit where he grew up and um, before we got married, and it was fall, and all the leaves. And they were beautiful. They were gorgeous. They were just like I had seen in books. And not that I hadn't seen them in real life, but I just, there were so many. And so I remember asking his family, would you please mail me a box of leaves? They thought I was crazy. But I was, the, I was the director of a school or administrator of a school at that time, and I also taught a class. And I had a big pool, and I put the leaves in it. And you know what? Those kids in South Texas had not ever jumped in a pile of leaves. It was so much fun. Um, big kids, little kids, they all had the best time throwing the leaves in the air, having a great time. Um, just one of those little kiddie pools. And... It made me realize that there are things that we live in different parts of the country or the world, and we may not have gotten to experience that. So, simple things bring about some really beautiful, simple fun. I wish I would have taken pictures then. You know, we didn't have phone cameras. We didn't have portable phones back then, <laughs> unless you were like a doctor and it looked like a big old walkie-talkie. Okay, everyone must take time to sit and watch the leaves turn. That's by Elizabeth Lawrence. And this is as the leaves turn. It's like a metal. <laughs> I don't know. You're the apple of my eye. Fall, family fun. Fall on the farm. It's fall. Super cute. Really cute. Okay, last of the three pages is our little pumpkin. Well, you know who's going to get that. And that says fall festival. Pile on the fun. Picking pumpkins. These are kind of faint, so I might go back over those with markers. Just saying. Bushels of fun moments, piles of leaves, piles of smiles. 
So I'm going to be honest if I see something and I say, you know, I like that or maybe I don't like that as much or maybe I would change that. Or I might put a separate, something different across that. You never know. So um, autumn leaves, crisp days of fall, remember this. So super, super cute. Again, Creative Memories is amazing. Um, and again, this was like the, like you know, like last chance type stuff. And with fall coming, and we've got so much going on this fall, clearly, I thought this was a great opportunity to pick up some things that I normally wouldn't normally get. Plus, it was a free, um, it was a free gift kind of thing. So, I also picked up Countryside Comfort. So, it's just basically fall vellum paper. And, hmm, let me see if I can show you that. Hold on, I'll pull this back out. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm not going to pull it all the way out because I just want to make sure I can get it there without beating it all up. <laughs> Okay, so here is that page. That is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Like the boxes stacked. So beautiful. There's the floral. Let me see if I turn it this way. It's a little bit darker. It's the floral, and it is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that against my hand. So beautiful. Okay. And then, let me flip it the other way. And I will tell you how many sheets are in this package. See, this is the way they want to pull it all the way out. <laughs> I knew I would mess it up. And I think I'm going to do it like that because I'm going to take it on my retreat. So this has how many pages? Five. So then, well, let's see here. This is the just gorgeous dimensional, if you can see that. I love that. That's so pretty. Just a faint design. And then... You know, this is what got me. Birds on a wire. I absolutely love that. Isn't that cute? Love it. Okay, and then one more. And it's just kind of an umber. Isn't that pretty for fall? So, those are not all of those have to be used for fall. Some could be used for summer. You know, you could literally, since that's yellow, it could be summer, that could be fall. Um, this could be spring, that could be spring, this could be winter, however you want to do it. So, Countryside Comfort, super cute. And then, hold on, I have, <laughs> already shared this in another haul, so I'm not going to share it again. We're in the crop I'm going to, they are going to have a special class on with this paper, so um, I made sure I had it and had it again. So, here we go. And actually, I really love this paper. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> I just needed another excuse to pick up some more paper. <laughs> and it was free. It was given to me, you know, because of the $25 credit. So I also picked up this cute little summer sun-kissed pack. I have some of this from last summer. This is last year's paper. But um, we're going to be, we're taking so many trips this summer, I wanted to have something fun. So I picked up an additional one of these. It's gorgeous. It's beach. It makes me happy. So... All right, my friends. Now, I wanted to share with you something special. So hold on. I'm going to have to kind of like throw my box out of the way. Hold. I know. I'm sorry. Excuse me. That was really loud. I picked up a wonderful tool that I have used for many, many years. This is Storage Studios. I think I found this on scrapbook.com. These are the paper holders. So I was trying to figure out how I could organize my bucket to make it look the nicest for my um, the crop I'm going to. I'm hoping you guys can see everything. They're, the size of these is 2.625 inches by 13 inches by 12.5 inches, and these are fantastic. Now, let me show you in real life. <laughs> I These used to be called cropper hoppers. I think it's by the same company. Um, but I've been literally loading for my, my, uh, my crop. I think it holds 200 sheets, maybe more. I can't remember, but, um, I'm packing as I'm doing my haul with you guys. So I will literally sit this down in my little pull cart and it will fit perfectly. So everything stays neat. I've got it sectioned by the different kits. I also have the dividers that I've ordered. I just haven't received them yet. Um, but um, I'm super happy with it. And I, I may have gotten this off of Amazon. 
or maybe I got this off scrapbook.com and I got the dividers by Amazon. I'm not sure. But anyways, this is a godsend. I literally have a stack of these in the closet of my old craft studio. And I'm so thrilled that we can now get to that closet and I can pull the additional ones out. So as I go through everything while we are moving everything, I'm literally making big piles um, of things to donate. And donate to the nursing facility where my mom um, was a resident when she was at the end of her life. And I did such a great job of taking care of her. So these are fantastic. Even if you want the whole paper pad. Say you wanted to do all fall in one. You could put all fall in one. You know, they're just great. So, all right, there's that. And, whoo, sorry guys. Um, oh, last but not least, got a tape and a refill. Who doesn't need a refill? So, all right. I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll be glad to help in any way I can. Um, if you like this video, like it, subscribe if you're not subscribed. We've got all kinds of amazing things this summer. Um, and, uh, hit that notification bell to be every time a new video comes up and, um, leave a comment or email me at josephinesdesigns.com. I'll be glad to help in any way. And finally share this video if it would help. Hold on one sec. <coughs> Excuse me. If it would help somebody else. All right, my dear sweet friends, again, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. I'll be talking to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.